And I'm glad you mentioned them competing, Dave, because yeah. today ESPN had an article. Oh, that this re- one, yeah. <laughs> that reads this. It says, uh, 2020-2021 NBA preview. Wins and standings projections uh, for all 30 NBA teams. This is going to kind of be our preview as well um, before we officially make our predictions um, in a week next Tuesday. So before I put up, I have a graphic that's going to have all the wins and losses. Uh, basically how their article did is they gave an average win for each team. So yep. what I did with the graphic is, for example, if the team's average win was 44.5, I rounded up to 45 wins. Um, if it was 44.4, I rounded down to 44. And then mm-hmm. out of 72, I just gave you what the wins and losses um, would be for each team. Um, here's how the projections work though. So I want people to understand these are not our projections. These are ESPN's projections, and this is how they picked them. It says our real plus minus RPM projections utilize the multi-year, uh, predictive version of RPM as a starting point. They're adjusted for typical player aging and then regressed towards the player's projective offensive rating and defensive rating from the shown projection system uh, based solely on box score stats. Uh, For players without RPM projections, including rookies, the shown rating was used instead. Games played are projected based on time missed over the previous three seasons. I then make a subjective guess at minutes, a minute distribute, uh, minute distributions for each team, multiplying those minutes uh, by players' offensive and defensive ratings yield team ratings that translate into expected wins. It's a little uh, dense. I use those projections to simulate the season ten thousand times and mm-hmm. record the average number of wins as well. Um, as how often each team made the playoffs. So here is off of this average yep. your playoff standing. So in the okay. East, the playoffs, according to ESPN, is going to be the Bucks at one, Raptors at two, Heater at three, Sixers at four, Celtics five, Nets six, um, Pacers seven, and Hawks at eight. You can see all the teams that didn't make the playoffs on the graphic. And then the West, you got Lakers, Clippers, Rockets, Jazz, Nuggets, Mavericks, Pelicans, and Suns all making the playoffs. Whoa, and you can whoa, see that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I know, Dave. I know. There's a lot There's a lot of things here. There's one thing I want to get to for, uh, first, but I'm going to push that to the side. What is your first? There's probably a lot you want to dive in here. But what's yeah. the first thing that jumps out to you? Like, wait, what the fuck? How is Golden State? I know, right? <laughs> 14th in the West. With the, like, is Clay that important? Like, I know he's important, but like, are they expecting Steph to go down again? Because that's the only way they're getting to 14. I'm sorry. Like, that dense block of text Jesus you read about Christ. projecting numbers and bullshit, like, maybe that had something to do with this. Yeah. But yeah, like, Golden State, I will put down <laughs> $30,000 today that uh, Golden State will not be 14th in the West. You know, even if Steph goes down. They still have Wiggins. They still have Uber. They still have Wiseman. They still have Draymond. Those four players. You you could put out Ricky. You could be the point guard. Oh. You're, you're Nico fucking Mannion. I know. Out there with those four guys. I know. And they would still win more than 31 games. That's the first thing I, I wanted to bring Number up. Number two. Oh. Number two. How are the, the wor- Trailblazers are not a playoff team according to this bullshit. I know. They, they're going to be a top four team, top three team. It's bullshit. No. Top I've, four, top again, three at least. Insanity absolute insanity how are the t-wolves at 11 like no, that may, one maybe it's because of records but like i expect that no no no, no. i expect them to be lower they should be where the oh, warriors no. are dave again look at the difference of games because yeah. it is a 10 game shorter season point, now it, everything is tighter yeah so good like point. 35 37 there are two games under 500 so that's you know that's basically a 40 mm-hmm. 42 team you know and that's about right i think that's about right for mm-hmm. what they are I'm not shocked at all by that. So I'm I'm cool with that. And again, I think in the West, I think the Mavs are being slept on. Mm -hmm. And I think the Nuggets are perhaps being slept on. I think the Pelicans are not going to be a playoff team. I think that the the problem is like, I think the Pelicans are out. I think the Trailblazers are in. Mm -hmm. But I think other than that, their playoff teams are correct, but the order is very wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, very wrong. 
the Warriors were the biggest jump for me to where it's like, how do you have them at 14? But like, I think the Warriors might be seventh. I mm-hmm. think if I'm doing mine, exactly. and I know like we're doing our six side. or seven, like towards the yeah. end, towards the yeah. bottom. I think um, that the Mavs would be higher. I think the Nuggets mm-hmm. would be higher. I got Rockets down. I got the Clippers down. I got the like they're, they're just the Jazz down. Like it, it is what it is because yeah. because that's what that's the mm-hmm. changes happen. But these are the the West is a fucking <laughs> joke because then of that. The, and again, like I said, they literally got six teams, seven seven teams correct, mm-hmm. seven playoff teams in here correct that I agree with. Yeah. So orders wrong, but the teams are right for seven out of eight. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the blind eye and say, hey, let's not <laughs> deep breath, Dave. Deep breath. Golden mm-hmm. State, you know, won't be there. Uh, unlike last year, where I totally call it. Like, and then the big thing in the East that I saw was so I will say for yep. the Celtics, um, they did put in um, an update that said the news that Kemba won't return to game action until January at the earliest cost Boston a little more than a projected win and drop the Celtics behind Miami and Philadelphia on average. This update is not yet factored into simulations um, and Boston's playoff prop probability will drop. So they were an 89% playoff team, um, but it drops a little bit. So like if Kemba Walker was healthy, they'd be the three seed here, but that's I mean, why there's literally the one five. game. It's 40 exactly. win team is the three seed, then a 39, yeah. 39, 39, mm-hmm. 39. But like, so. <laughs> Yet again, three like, to eight. Yeah, maybe it's because I'm looking at the seed number and not the actual like record number. Yep. Like the team that jumps out to me is the Nets, to where it's like, yeah, I get why they're at six because, like you said, there's three teams at thirty nine and then one team at forty. There's four teams at thirty nine. Four teams at thirty nine. Fucking forgot the Pacers there. Um, yep. but like the Nets, I I look at and like. They're a team that should be towards the top, right? Because they're getting KD and Kyrie back this year. But they're so top heavy. Mm-hmm. Regular season. Again, hey, the Lakers were the number one seed and they were top heavy. Yeah. So it's just like, how much do you trust Kyrie and KD staying healthy? Mm-hmm. 100% that. That's the gamble. It's like, I think they're going to take games off. I okay. think that they're going to make sure that, hey, both these guys, the point is to get there. The point's not that we need the number one seed. We don't mm-hmm. need home crowd because home crowds won't exist. Yeah. Like, so I think that that's for me. I totally get that. You know, being four games behind uh, or five games behind the number one season. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. I think that the the standout is the Pacers being in over a team like the Wizards. <laughs> and I know people are like, Dave, John Wall hasn't played a game in two years. I I'm like I the, get that in the Discord, that, Dave. We talked about this yesterday, I believe. And it, like, were so you like Dave's gonna have a problem with this. No, we talked about like who's in the the playoff picture in the East. And I'll be honest, all eight teams that this has in the East, those were the teams I listed. I listed those eight teams and said, these are your eight teams. Pick whatever order you want. Like, that's the only thing. And then like someone brought up the Wizards. I'm like, yeah, they'll probably be ninth. And then someone said something and I was like, yeah, but is John Wall, like they were talking about John Wall. I was like, yeah, but is he going to be healthy though? Like throwing it out as a joke, but like. John Wall, if he's not healthy, that hurts this team. Healthy John Wall, a healthy Bradley Beal, a healthy Danny Avdia, a healthy Rui Hachimura, mm-hmm. a healthy Thomas Bryant, <laughs> healthy uh, Davis Bertrands. Like, yep. they are going to be fucking good people. Healthy mm-hmm. Troy Brown Jr. Hey, Brown, this Wizards team, I'm bubble wrapping them all right now. I, <laughs> you know what? I won't pick any of them in fantasy. Ooh. That's what I'll do. Ooh. I'll make the pimp decision <laughs> that my fantasy curse does not affect them because I will not draft does, a single Washington Wizard. Did, does the did the curse carry over oh, yes. basketball for us? Oh yes, okay. yes it does. <laughs> Dave, Dave's like that's why I'm scared because at first it hurt all three like, of us. If we have too many teams, we might have to share a team, Ricky. That's uh... <laughs> you and Soapy could share. Dave okay. shed shed flexors. <laughs> shed, uh, maybe we will the shed maybe flexors. But like to me, that's it's my like, thought. I, I, the Pacers are are and they have at thirty three. They have 33 wins. Yeah, 33 wins is not a lot. Um, Mm -hmm. Again, that's six games under. So in my head, I just keep having to add 10 games to the season and go, okay, where would this actually be? Okay, that Mm -hmm. makes sense. Like, no, that's low. Like, the Wizards are a better team than that. I think the fact that the order of, like, Cavs, Pistons, Knicks at the bottom Mm -hmm. makes perfect sense to me. I, I do understand and expect all three of those teams to be at the bottom. I'm not one of those people, like you showed me earlier, yeah. who is a world champion, got the ring, 
Kendrick Perkins somehow thinks the Knicks are a playoff team. Don't ask me how. Don't I, ask me why. Don't ask me what drug he was on when he made that statement. But yeah, that I just, was. I don't claim. see it. I don't see it because like I, I think he's. They've got the idea of those are three bad teams. Mm-hmm. Then there's the then there's the medium bad teams with the Bulls, the Hornets, and the Magic. Mm-hmm. And I do believe that the Wizards are being swapped with the Pell or not the Pels. The, uh, the, the the nope. Pacers. Pacers. Okay. Pacers. I think the the Wizards Pacers so swap uh, because I think. Again, a talented John Wall next to Bradley Beal, plus all the additions they've had, the year of growth. But I mean, the Pacers actually... are talented, and they're getting Vic back. Yeah. Like, but who's better, Bradley Beal or Victor Oladipo? I mean, I get that. Like, I'm not who's saying better, that John Wall or not just Sabonis. Yeah, I mean, but that's the problem. Right. It's just talent-wise just... at the top. The mm-hmm. Wizards have more talent. Yeah. And then depth-wise, I I do like Malcolm Brogdon. I think Miles Turner is a good player. I mm-hmm. I love PJ Warren being the you know, uh, basically the, the the successor to the supernova of offense. Yeah. But the Wizards are just year in, year out, they should be there if they're healthy. And that's, mm-hmm. that's why I think it's just, I can't agree. I think until the Pacers figure out what they're doing with Turner and Vic, they're just not a great team. So, Very good team. I think this is, I think that that race for, uh, you know, the 39, 39, 39, 39 turns mm-hmm. into the race for eighth place. At about thirty-seven, okay. I think there's going to be four teams with thirty-seven wins. Shit. I think the Hawks are right there. I love the Hawks; they've mm-hmm. had an amazing offseason, and I, I'm I'm so happy that they are your second team, Ricky, because mm-hmm. I'm they're basically my second team I because of that. Them. Like, I will cheer and love them as much as you do. Like, I need there's two Hawks jerseys I have to get. One of them, I think I'm going to get. Um, one of them has to be the black version. That's going to be a Trey Young jersey. Oh, yeah, that looks great. And crazy. then the red version, got to get a Cam Reddish jersey. Oh. I fucking, we, we had a comment uh, basically saying uh, someone was uh, hyped. We were giving love to, finally, someone, he's like, finally, I find someone that's given love to Cam Reddish. He's like, I feel like I'm the, I was the only person that's given him nah, love. Man. <laughs> nah, like he's, he's legit. Uh, Eric brings up a good point, though. Like, and I don't know for my predictions how I'm going to do it is like, is Toronto a lock at the two? No, like, not even close. Okay, like I got the, like how far do you they're, think they're they gonna fall down that rating? Okay, like are they Look, a six? Or is Kyle it Lowry, like them and the Nets are flipped? Kyle Lowry is older. They mm-hmm. lost Gasol. They yeah. lost Ibaka. Good That's point. massive. Good. Now, as much as the Baines train coming to town gives them a little Choo-choo, bit off, baby. Oh, no, <laughs> no. They are not a better team unless Pascal oh. Siakam turns into Yasan Skumpo. They are not <laughs> going to be the number two seed. He could though. He could. You never. Could. Know. <laughs> you never know, Dave. You never know. Yeah. Um, no, I think. I think my ratings will look a little different. I think my orders mm-hmm. could be different. But I think that yeah. one through six again. They got seven of the eight teams. Mm-hmm. They're just in the wrong order again. I think both East West seven of eight teams mm-hmm. were both on the same page there, right? You, you're eight for of eight you, on. The- well, for you, I mean, for me, it's. The East is eight out of eight. Like I'll spoil it now. Those eight teams you see in the East, those are going to be my eight teams. Yep. Um, the with actually the the nine teams are right because the Wizards, I would say, would be the ninth seed sure. if they miss out. Um, in the West, like the Blaze, I would probably swap the Blazers. The Blazers are in, and the Warriors are in. So it's like the Pelicans and the Suns are out. Like. There's six of eight for me in the West. Cause like, I think the Warriors, if Steph is healthy, I know yeah, Clay's a blow, but I'm like, there's still six or eight. Blazers, Warriors in. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Memphis could make a run, but like, the Suns got better. The Pelicans are versatile. So like, really to me, it's like, there's not yeah. going to be enough fucking spots. <laughs> Somehow, I'm, I'm with you. I mm-hmm. think the playoffs should be extended. Yeah. Uh, last thing, last oh, thing I want to ask you, though. Wayne Turney. The play in oh, tournament. Oh, shit. Happen again? It's 10. Yeah, that's right. It goes all the way to fucking the yeah. top 10 teams. I forgot yeah. about that. That's that's the problem. So for our predictions, then, we're going to we go 10, 10 deep. 10. Yeah, we'll go 10 yeah. deep. Fuck. I, I forgot. forgot about that. I totally yeah. forgot. I'm someone glad, someone what, in what, the Cowans would have roasted like, us. Oh, Dave, the play in tourney. Like, so, we got special ones. Once, like, there's not enough team. There's not enough slots for the good teams. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, wait, they did something about that. Here's a question I want to ask you. This is the last yeah. thing before we move on into the Wooden Award 10, the show. Yeah. Um, next week, we're going to do our predictions. What yes. I would also like to do, not as a MVP Sports Live, this would be a, like, we would have to lot. try to get together to record it. We'll get together uh, to record it. Would be our way too early mock draft. Yep. 
but here's how I want to do it this year. With time, and, because I've since you gave me the like one mm-hmm. day notice, and I was like, no, Ricky, yeah. I can't do it in one day notice. Yeah, I've watched and read so many articles on college basketball, <laughs> mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah, I'm excited. So here's the question: Do we we either do it one of two ways, sure. the order wise? We either use the order that you guys see on the screen. We use these records as our like I I basically go through the records and I pick out like okay here's the order or 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 we use our predictions and our predictions not for the show the show would be 10 deep but for the purposes of a draft we would go 15 deep and then we would use like hey in this mock the way too early this is our order no lottery because there's no games played yet so it would be a, we're not like randomizing it, but it would basically be off of Dave and I's orders put together. This is our draft order. Do you want to go off of ours or off of ESPN's? I like ours. Okay. Then we're going to go off of ours. We'll, we'll also we have to record that in one. The, uh, in the discord. Yeah. We can also I, do that we have as to have well. Tiebreakers. Yeah. Well, we will have tiebreakers, Dave. You and I don't agree on anything or not much. We don't not agree much. on. It's this not is much. not the Sean Anderson, Dave Oster show. I miss Sean. I do too. The Green Green Podcast, just, we would just, <laughs> just push you through a two to one vote everything. Oh, I fucking hated it. I fucking yeah, hated did. it some days, but. Yeah.